Hey y'all, welcome to the Whiskey Warehouse. I'm Dylan. I'm Nick. And uh, so we've done Woodenville products yeah. in the past. Done the regular, the port. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's it's just funny how the universe turns out, man. Like sometimes it just puts things in front of you. You ask for it and it gives it to you. Yeah, because we've been wanting a barrel proof of this. Yes, we mentioned it I think several times in, mm -hmm. in our reviews. Like we wish that there was a barrel proof version. Um, and the great state of Ohio has, uh, listened to our request <laughs> and, uh, and appeased us. Yeah, it's with 10 different flavors, actually. And we have two. We have two. We picked up two. <laughs> I mean, damn, this shit, 70 bucks a bottle, bro. It's a really genius marketing scam, or not scam, but marketing tactic <laughs> by Woodenville. <laughs> because, dude, that's like over 700 bucks for all the flavors but today we got two today we're gonna to do the buttery caramel flavor yes and we'll do the uh next one when neither one of us has to drive yeah and the, the other one we have you'll find out in the review um okay so today we got the uh ohio liquor buttery caramel coming in at 119.44 that's pretty yeah that's pretty solid store pick single barrel barrel proof Love barrel proofs. Yes, love barrel proofs. Uh, we love Woodenville, so I'm really excited for this mm, one. It's pretty good. Just to show you that we're not fucking around. As you can see, it is the buttery caramel flavor, barrel proof. Uh, store pick, part select selection. I mean, there's a bunch of different um, yeah. words you can say about it. But I'm going to go ahead and pour us up. The regular Woodenville bottle, it's just has a private select single barrel bourbon, Ohio liquor, buttery caramel, barrel proof on it. Mm -hmm. I'm excited for this. I am too. Um, we don't really do store picks. No. Like you and I, we don't. They're it's expensive just, and hard to get. Yeah. It, it, there's, I feel like sometimes they're a novelty, but when it's a barrel proof Shit. store pick, you have to kind of just swap glasses. There we go. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Delicious, tasty. I don't know, like, all over Instagram people are like posting like store pics of fucking like Eagle Rare and Blaine. How the fuck are they getting that shit? Dude? Uh, and Weller. Party Source always has, uh, basically they... Just, they they do have a lot of store pics, but uh, that's pretty far. I'd like to get a store pic of, of the, uh, what was that that we were looking at down there? Was it I, the, I, I uh, keep wanting. Woodford Double Oaked. Oh, right. There. Yeah, but that's pretty good. I got the store pick of uh, Eliza Craig. That's that's pretty that's pretty good. Feature review. So, the color? It's dark. It's pretty dark. It's not like... It's, I'd say, like, you know, go back and watch our... Uh, what did we just do? <laughs> Rare Breed. Rare Breed, the Thanksgiving. Rare Breed Rye. They're this about the same color. This will probably be released sometime in the winter, since this is um, barrel proof. Yeah. Looks, I can smell it, just sitting right here. Ooh, it smells caramely. Ooh, that smells amazing. It does. What is oh, that? I want to check the the viscosity. Dang, that is a uh, like a. Damn, what is that? It almost smells like a very old Irish whiskey, very buttery. Ooh, it doesn't smell hot. No. It smells just, very... Uh, it's very good smelling. It has this certain note popcorn. that I can't... Is that popcorn? Yeah, I would imagine like buttered popcorn. Butter popcorn, yeah. I don't get much caramel. There's a little bit there, but the butter kind of The first thing I smelled it. was like butterscotch caramel. Butterscotch for sure. Yeah. I'm excited for this one. All right, man. What are you staring at? It's not, I was just, like, <laughs> I, you know, I'm off in space, like trying to like pick up, pick it apart. Yeah. At the same time, you know, I, I'm thinking about like a whole just, bunch of other yeah, stuff. Yeah, thinking. I'm ready to get past this and get into six minutes of <laughs> six. our six minute time that we keep. Oh, All right. Like, for drinking. Some babbling about random crap. Bubble gum. Yeah. I got bubble gum. <laughs> Did you taste it already? No, no, no. It's just smelling it. Like, oh. being ready to drink it. It just 
Straight up bubble gum shot up my nose. I kind of get that too now that you said it. <coughs> oh. Oak and chart. Ooh. On the back, I get bubble gum. Woo! It's hot. But my mouth is dry. It's like somebody took all of the spit from my mouth and just like. <laughs> you know, you're at the dentist and they're working their teeth and like. Sucking the spit yeah, out of you. Yeah, it's just like, ooh. Ooh, that's good. But I can tell this is going to be really good. There's the buttery, the buttery carameliness. That's good. Uh, I'm going to say butterscotch is definitely there. Definitely there. Any hey, hints of cinnamon little on pepper, those? Little pepper. This does, you know what this kind of smells hot. like? Mm. Is There's like a, a, just a hint of campfire whiskey. Like really? Like how you were talking about the Irish whiskey. <coughs> yeah. I'm, it's just like a hint of like, and I'm not going to say like a strong nose of peat, but just a hint of peat. Not really. It does smell old. It smells yeah. Like, it smells old. I don't know the age on Musky. This. Well, regular Woodenville is what, like five years? I think so. I'm pretty sure it's five, so this has got to be about five. I do get a little mustiness. Yeah, definitely. I get the peat now, a little bit. Yeah, salted, that's weird. Salted caramel. Butterscotch. Oh, God, that's so buttery when you breathe out. Mm. That's good. If we had a glass of water, this would like... Oh, yeah. There's a little too much pepper on it, I think. It is. Yeah, it's very hot. Yeah. It definitely drinks like it's proof. It does. Un unlike some of the other barrel proofs that we have, and it's like, ooh, that's good. Like the Elijah Elijah Craig barrel proof. Mm -hmm. That didn't drink like 130, whatever it was. No. That drank like it was freaking money, like 100 proof, if that. Oh, yeah. And it was so smooth. This is really smooth, but it's also like... Pepper. Aggressive. The flavors are nice. Very nice. There's bubble gum, which is a wow factor, which means that this is going to end up in the 90s somewhere. <laughs> and as much as I don't want to say it, it's going to end in the 90s. <laughs> I'm trying to remain like, you know, you and Trent are all about the wooden villain. and I'm trying to remain like Switzerland, you know, be neutral in, in this. That last taste, the pepper disappeared. Mm -hmm. mm. It's very good. I like it a lot. It's sweet. I get more, that bubble gum like earthy, is very prevalent. Bust sweet notes like in an earthy not in the way of Grand Traverse Distillery but more earthy in the way of like scotchiness that's good a touch of peat mm -hmm. I like that that wasn't bad a little briny not not like like 2% briny it's mostly sweet buttery caramel with uh, bubble gum the finish pepper. is fantastic it's non-stop like caramel deliciousness very good I really, I really like liked it. it yeah I like it a lot alright Nick score it um, I know that this is going to hit like 90, 94 for you, I'm going to say. We should start doing that. Let's guess <laughs> what the others do. Guess it, but then you're just going to change it. <laughs> no, you know what? If you, nope. if, you, if you got it right, I'd be like, damn, Nick, you fucking know me. You got it. <laughs> what do you got? Ah, uh, shit. I'm probably going to have to go with like a 92. 92? Yeah. Okay. That's good, dude. Okay. I love Barrel Proofs. That was really good, yeah. What, yeah. Do, you, what do you think I would score this? Hmm. You want to stay? I know you're not a Woodenville fanatic. No. Like Trent. Trent would have this at like 100. <laughs> <laughs> no, since it's barrel proof, he'd probably have it at like mid 80s or at something. 50. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say you're probably like at 87. Uh, actually, no, I'm actually going to put this at a 93. I really? A lot Above me? Yeah. Damn. That's, that's why I was like, I'm trying to remain oh, like Switzerland. Okay. I, I want to be so neutral, but like. It's hard when it's good. Yeah, it's, it's, it's good. <laughs> I like this. It is complex. Uh, bubble gum is always like a huge I love bubble gum. I wish there was a little less pepper. Um, a little more fruits to it. But the buttery, I do like butter. I do like that butter and bourbon. Butterscotch is another big note. It's kind of hard when it's bubble gum, butterscotch, and like... Usually you don't find those together. Goodness. Like it's just not a thing. No. And that was very, very freaking good. It was good. Very good. Recommend it for sure. It's approved. Mm -hmm. Until next time, this has been the Whiskey Warehouse. You guys have a good week. Yep. Uh, next up will be the other flavor of this. This was the buttery... 
Buttery Caramel next will be... You'll find out. Yep. All right, guys. Bye. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, much appreciated. If you like that, maybe you might like these videos up here. And consider subscribing to the channel. Check them out. And uh, maybe get us get some merch from us. Something like that. You know, hook us up. Thanks, guys. Bye.